Hey guys, it's Sif Griff, and welcome to my first training video Mama. of my rebooted channel. My re <laughs> my rebooted channel. Um, this is a podcast oh series God. that you I'm going to be doing on my Wala. channel where I just talk and I train my horse and I play Wala. video games. I play the I play this video Wala. game that Wala. we all know and love, Wala. Star Wala. Stable Wala. Online, and I'm, I just. I'm just going to ramble and talk to you for like one to two hours about whatever comes to mind. So I guess since this is the very first um, re rebooted version of my, of my training videos, I'm going to be introducing myself and kind of talking about who I am, what I like, and just like my hobbies and personality and whatever, which I hope that you will stick around for in the rest of my channel life however long that shall be um this is just something that i've done on youtube for a while i've made lots of training videos on my old channel and i made some on this channel but i'm just starting fresh now so i want and i wanted to start fresh because i just you know i feel like i'm entering a new chapter in my life and i kind of want to represent that i'm still the same person i just feel different somehow I don't know I feel I feel good though I think that's all that matters is that I feel good and I'm ready to just move on with life so yeah um, and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about who I am what I like and my hobbies so who I am I'm just I'm just some random chick that really is passionate about star stable <laughs> like I care way too much about this horse game because I really love horses, I really love fantasy, I love animals, and I'm also a big collector of sorts. I collect I collect tons of horses in this game, and on top of that, in real life, I'm a plushie collector. I collect webkins, and I also collect dragon plushies, so yeah. Is there any other type of plushie I collect? I'm trying to think. I don't collect briar horses, people have asked me that before, um, and I don't collect LPS. I used to collect LPS when I was younger, but I gave them to my niece and nephew because I didn't, I don't play with them anymore, you know. But from w once in a while, I still play with my webkins, and I really love them, and I play with my dragons, and I'm, I know that I'm 23 years old. I know, <laughs> listen, I know that I'm 23 years old, and I'm too old to play with plushies, but I don't really care to be honest I'm still gonna play with them even though I'm probably too old for it just because I don't know I just enjoy it and I think that if you enjoy doing something in your spare time and you're not bothering anyone then why should you stop you know so that's why I still play with my plushies and um, <clears throat> I have a really big growing dragon collection that I'm like getting excited about lately. I've I've made a whole Google Docs just dedicated to my dragon plushies and their names and their kind of like role in the dragon society that I've created. Um, it's based heavily off of World of Warcraft if you don't know what that is. It's like a MMORPG which means massively multiplayer online role-playing game and there's like dragon flights in in this game and there's different dragon flights for each different thing that the dragons do so the red dragon flight which is made up of obviously red dragons they protect the life on Azeroth you know and uh, that's their main purpose <clears throat> they have nature magic and also they can breathe fire and they're really cool and the leader is Alex Straza she's a badass and then um, there's the green dragonflight, which is my favorite dragonflight. Um, they are the uh, protectors of the Emerald Dream, and the and I'll explain what it is. The Emerald Dream is like a uh, ethereal dream world of the world soul Azeroth. So, like their Earth is called Azeroth, and when Azeroth is sleeping or in the dream state or whatever, um, it goes back to. Like, the whole world in in the Emerald Dream is just basically the world without civilization. Like, everything is nature, and it's beautiful. 
So the Emerald Dream is protected by the Emerald or Green Dragonflight and they protect that and they are known as the Dreamers or Dreamweavers or the, you know, the sleeping dragons. They sleep a lot because they're always in the dream. So yeah, <clears throat> um, sometimes they're not in the dream, but yeah, most of the time they're in there protecting it from evil forces at play, like the Emerald Nightmare. The Emerald Nightmare was created by, um, I, I'm pretty sure it was created by the Burning Legion, which they, um, they were made, they're a, an evil army of demons and dread, dread lords created by Sargeras. Sargeras is the leader. But he was taken down recently, and there's just so much lore in this world of World of, world of Warcraft. But I'm happy to explain some of it, because you know what? I think it's super interesting, and I love it so much. I'm just telling you guys what I'm passionate about, okay? So just bear with me. Um, so yeah, super f freaking cool. I love the Emerald Dream and the Green Dragonflight. They're my favorite. And then the next we have is the Blue Dragonflight. The Blue Dragonflight is responsible for um, protecting magic and making sure that people don't use magic to do evil and they are pretty cool they're led by Caligos right now because the old leader Malagos kind of went crazy <laughs> so, so that's fun we love when leaders go crazy right <clears throat> and so the, the next dragon flight is the bronze dragon flight and they are like golden bronze dragons sometimes orange I don't know and they protect the time they protect all time and the time waves they can travel through time to protect the time waves and everything and sometimes when bad things happen in the time waves they have to happen for good things to happen so the so sometimes it's really sad because the time dragons have to make sure that bad things do happen because that's just the course of life and you know I really like, I really love the time dragons. I think it, they're super freaking awesome. And so yeah. Um yes. There's also the infinite dragon flight which is basically what the bronze dragon flight is supposed to become later on when Nazdormu goes and gets corrupted. Nazdormu is the leader of that dragon flight. Um it's kind of an inevitable tragedy that's going to happen. He's, he's going to go crazy. And we're just trying to prevent that future from happening. But I don't know. If, I don't even know if it can be prevented. Because I don't know. That's supposed to be like way later on in Nazdormu's life. So I don't know. It's kind of like scary to think about yourself becoming corrupted later on. And you have to fight your corrupted self. You know what if you had to do that? That would be pretty spooky. Okay, so the next dragon flight that I want to talk about is the black dragon flight. They protect, they protect the earth. They protect Azeroth's like, um, like inside and the maelstrom and the maelstrom is like kind of the core of Azeroth. Like it's basically everything underground and all that stuff. And there's lots of old gods trapped in prisons underground, so they need to be keep kept watch on the leader deathwing went crazy because of the old gods corrupting his mind and that kind of sucked but now we have rathian and rathian is kind of like he's known as the black prince he's like the black the black dragon that's kind of young and he's like you know his grandfather is deathwing and he had to he has he has a lot of stuff to live up to because of that so he's like got pressure on him you know poor little rathian that's what his name is the black prince poor little rathian you know he's just trying to do his best in life you know <laughs> so a lot of my dragon plushies are based on this world and i've named a lot of them after these characters uh, someday maybe i'll make a video introducing them or something i don't know but i really really love dragon plushies and dragons and stuff like that and I have, like, other dragons based on my own made-up, uh, things. So, like, I have silver dragons, and I made a silver dragonflight, and basically they are, like, the rogues that 
in my in my world in my plushy world they are the rogues they cannot be seen because they have reflective scales and they can hide and it's pretty fun where's starshine ranch oh there it is yes and then um i have a sea dragon i have a big loch ness monster and he is the sea dragon flight he is the only one that protects that dragon flight because there's only one Loch Ness monster in the world. Have you ever watched the movie Water Horse? Water Horse is such a good movie. I highly, highly recommend watching it. It's about how the Loch Ness monster is the only one in the world and only lays one egg um, each time that it's about to die so then it can live on and stuff. It basically reincarnates itself e each time. And then it hatches, and then it goes to live in the lock. Um, yeah. That's how it works. It's pretty cool, right? I wish I was a Loch Ness monster, and I could just eat fish all day, and swim around in the ocean. That'd be fun. But then I would probably get killed by humans, so maybe not. <laughs> humans kill everything it's really annoying like can they please just leave things alone you know what I bet that's how all the dragons in the world died it's probably because of humans as you can tell I don't really like humans that much the only things I like about humans is the fact that they can make video games for me to play to escape my reality because I don't like living in reality <laughs> but everyone has to live in reality because that's just how life is like of course I understand that, but do I want to, you know, force myself to live in reality all the time? No, I want to escape, so that's why I play Star Stable and World of Warcraft and all that, f all those fun games. Yes. Um, yeah, what was I going to talk about next? Uh, well, besides dragons and, you know, fantasy and things, I like elves, I like... I like all types of animals like wolves, owls, cats, um, I like deer, I like bears, pretty much anything under the sun. I'm, pr I'm pretty, I'm an animal oriented person. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of like spiders and uh, creepy crawlies, but snakes are kind of cute and spiders can be cute sometimes, okay? Not all the time. Most of the time they're kind of scary, but yeah, they just move so fast, okay? Like, I don't understand their physics. <laughs> I have driven- I have drawn spiders, though. I think they're interesting, for sure. So, no spider hate on my channel, okay? If you came here to hate on spiders, go somewhere else. I'm not gonna let you. Got it? Good. They- you know what? If it weren't for spiders, there would be too many bugs in this world and it would be annoying. <laughs> would be constantly getting bit by mosquitoes and things and flies Ugh, yeah so we need spiders um what else was i gonna talk about <clears throat> um oh yeah um uh well actually i don't know if i'm gonna talk about that um oh yeah um my favorite fantasy person or, like, I guess... I'll just tell you my favorite movie right now. My favorite movie right now is Wolf Walkers. And if I could be a wolf walker, I totally would. Like, please turn me into a wolf and stuff when I sleep. Because that would just be freaking cool, man. Like, imagine going to sleep and then you wake up and you're a wolf and you run around in the forest. And then you go back to your body and you get up the next day and you go to work. And you just think about your night all all day and then you do the same thing like you just always have cool dreams of being a wolf instead of you know having dreams about nothing and then waking up in being annoyed and having a bad morning because you just woke up from an annoying dream like ugh, no thank you yeah so i i am definitely i am definitely a fantasy nerd <clears throat> and I do like dragons a lot but let me tell you what I will not play <laughs> I will not play Riders of Burke and the reason why is because I just think that it's 
not a very nice game. I don't know, like I just haven't seen enough good things about the game to really like it. I like games that are really pretty looking, you know, really appealing and, uh, you know, just more advanced games. It's even hard for me to play Star Stable sometimes because I have a pretty high-end computer and I like to play games that are really high-end. I like Red Dead Redemption, World of Warcraft, um, Red I like Guild Wars 2, and I think those games are all way better dragon games or like mount riding games than uh, Riders of Burke. I'm sorry, I just don't really like Riders of Burke. I have tried Riders of Icarus and I didn't really like it that much. I thought the gameplay was kind of bad. <laughs> So I'm kind of picky with games, so don't tell me to play, like, Roblox, because I'm probably not going to be... I'm not I'm not interested in things that are, like, blocky or they, they have lots of polygons involved. Like, if you don't know what a polygon is, basically just zoom in to look at my horse's butt for a second. This is a polygon. It's like a straight piece, like, on a character. If you see too many polygons... If I see too many polygons and it's too obvious that it's er, very fake looking, then I'm probably not going to be interested in playing with it, you know. The, I have seen some good things on Roblox, though. I saw, like, a role play, uh, a warrior cat role play thing. I might try that out. I might try that out. I'm going to be trying out different games on this channel. I'm not always going to be making star stable content. As you can see, I'm, I'm talking about a large array of my different interests, so, you know. I might make videos about stuff other than Star Stable, like I might make a Red Dead video, I might make a WoW video, a and I might make a Guild Wars 2 video, I might even make a video showing sure off my plushies, who knows. It really depends on what I feel like doing, because I'm just, from now on, I'm just going to make videos oh, that yeah. I enjoy making. Uh, I don't really care about what anyone else wants me to do anymore. I'm just... You know what? I'm just gonna do what I like. So, yeah. <clears throat> what else could I talk about? Oh yeah, I have two cats. I have an, I have a diluted calico cat named Evie or Evelyn. I sometimes call her Evie Girl. That's like her nickname is Evie Girl. And then um, I have Bensie and he's my tuxedo cat boy and he's also known as Bensie Boy. So I yeah, I call them Evie Girl and Bensy Boy a lot. And that's just their nicknames because Yas. I like I like how it sounds. I like Bensy Boy. Evie Girl, you know. That's just yeah. Anyway. They're warrior cat names. Because <laughs> if I get a cat it has to have a warrior cat name. You're doing a new one. Um Evie's warrior cat name. Where right, right now she's an apprentice, so it's Everpaw. And Bensie's name is Birdpaw, so I'll let you know when they become warriors what their warrior names will be. I'm so excited for them to get warrior names. And yeah, I know, like Everpaw, Birdpaw, kind of basic names, but warrior cats usually do have basic names, you know? Like freaking Sandpaw or Firepaw, like... I don't expect everyone to be all creative and think of amazing names like freaking Cardinal Paw or, you know, leave me alone, okay? They're just cats. <laughs> yes, cats have to have warrior names. Always, always. But yeah, dragons can be named whatever you want and horses can be named whatever you want. I, I don't really go by the whole Star Stable naming system because Star Stable doesn't even go by their own naming system. Like, they, they tell you to choose a prefix and a suffix for your horse name, but then they'll make a character Blaze, you know? Starshine is probably the only horse character that follows his, like, rule- like, the rules of the game of having a certain name, you know? So, Starshine. <laughs> and then you've got Tin Can. Tin Can has a dash in his name, by the way. I'll show you real quick if I can find him. Yeah, Tin Can has a dash in his name, so Tin Can definitely doesn't follow the rules. Neither does Concord and neither does Meteor. They don't follow the rules. And Blaze, the newest horse character that we have, doesn't even follow the rules either. And Dellinger, Dellinger's name doesn't even sound like 
a word at all. Like, meteor, you immediately think of a meteor falling from the sky, you know, tin can, you think of a can made of tin on the ground. And, but, Dellinger, what does that mean? What is, is that a Swedish word? I don't know what it means. I'm pretty sure it's just a fantasy name or whatever, but I love it. It's a great name. It's just, that's why I give my horses fantasy nicknames instead of, you know, just calling this horse Angel Wing <coughs> instead of her name is Angelina. So yeah, I was gonna nick, I was gonna nickname her Angelette, but I don't know. She's almost level 15 and I'm just, I'm just gonna call her Angelina. Um, also, I have a lot of complaining with Star Stable. I'm, I complain a lot on this channel. So if you don't like listening to podcasts of somebody complaining about a game, then don't watch it because that's pretty much all I do and all I've ever done. I've, I've just, I'm just a complainer. <laughs> I like to, I like to criticize Star Stable a lot and talk about what I think and my opinions on updates, my opinions on the lore, story writing that they do. I really, I really, okay, I'm not gonna say I hate their story writing, but I definitely have problems with a lot of the ways that they write stories in this game. Like, I do feel like a lot of characters are lacking in development, proper um, personality, story progression, like, I feel like there's a lot of characters that just are not very good or, or well written. So, sometimes I might talk about my opinions on that, you know, on this channel. So, yeah. <laughs> You're just gonna see lots of crap on my channel of me pooping out my opinions, as always. Because that's the person I am. And if you don't like listening to someone crap out of their mouth about their opinions, then don't watch my channel. But if you want to watch that, then hell yeah, let's all complain together and spill the tea. <laughs> spill the tea. Okay. <clears throat> I'm annoying, but that's okay. Everybody's a little annoying sometimes. Nobody's perfect, you know. Being perfect is boring. If I was perfect, you probably wouldn't even want to watch me. You'd probably be like, oh, this person is just way too perfect. I don't relate to them. <laughs> I think being annoying and being weird is what makes me relatable. So I'm perfectly fine with being a weirdo and I don't really care. There's lots of weirdos that can be weird with me. So hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm just being weird now but that's fine. This horse is almost maxed. I can't wait to max her. And then I'm going to buy the ember mane. Yas. And I'll pick out an outfit for him and everything. I was, I was, um, gonna, like, when I found out that the ember mane in the show was a girl, I was like, hmm, yeah, no, the ember mane doesn't look like a girl to me. So I made mine a boy. <laughs> His name is going to be Shafiro. I'm so excited to get him. His nickname, or his star stable name is going to be Shadow Flame. And I really like the name Shadow Flame. I really think that that's a really nice name. Yes. We love, we love emo shadow horses. <laughs> I don't really think he's an emo horse. Well, I don't know. Dyeing your main orange, is that, is it emo to dye your hair orange? and be like really dark i don't know i think it kind of is maybe maybe it is an emo horse in disguise <laughs> yes we love our emo horses it's okay angelina's a little bit emo right angelina she's like no i'm a princess how dare you yeah angelina you're like one of those pale white princesses from the anime and you wear a dress everywhere and you're super fancy. She's like, no, I'm not. I'm a jumper. I like to jump. You know, my old white Frisian used to be like my dressage horse and now Angelina. She just looks too much like a show jumping horse now. She doesn't really <coughs> look like a dressage horse anymore. I don't know. I don't know, like when I look at her jump, it makes me think of like a white horse that's show jumping in real life, you know? 
so I see her as a show jumper now now and plus angel wings like wings is literally used for show jumping horses not really dressage horses then again I don't know maybe some people in the horse world I'm not I don't watch real life horse shows okay I just I've just seen a few things here and there I'm not like staring at the TV <laughs> for that I don't know oh no I just ran into an annoying rock ah. Angelina why are you spinning the wrong way I hate when she gets sucked into a fence and then she doesn't listen to me Re. Oh yeah, I, I re a lot when I'm upset. That's cool. So that's something you should also keep in mind when watching my channel. I will go re, but not do it super loud because I don't want to break anyone's eardrums. I could totally do it loud and break your eardrums, but am I going to? Uh, no, because then I would break my own eardrums and that's not fun. I kind of like having the ability to hear, so yeah. Um, this is usually the part where I don't know what else to talk about. Whenever I get to Hollow Woods, I go into a brain fog because I can't stop staring at how ugly this place is. That's a thing that I also complain about regularly nice. in my training videos is when that is Star is Stable going to update Hollow Woods? This place is ugly and it's they like in the middle of Silver Glade. And it's still not updated. It's one of the biggest forests in the game, and it's still not updated. And I'm like, oh my god, Star Stable, when are you going to update my forest? Hollow Woods is my forest. Okay, when I was new to the game, like, this forest was my favorite forest to be in. I joined, by the way, in 2016 in the summer. So, I'm like, I remember when everything was ugly. This was my favorite place to go back then. And this place is still ugly. It's the only ugly place. And everywhere else looks beautiful. And this is the only ugly place. And I'm like, <laughs> Star Stable, you're offending me by not updating my area. <laughs> Claims area as mine. Mine! I'm just kidding. If anything, I like... Greendale the most right now. Greendale is my favorite forest. Until this place gets updated anyway. Once this place gets updated, I am moving to Veildale. Who is with me? Who else wants to live near Veildale? I want to live in Veildale. I miss Veildale. I used to live there when I was a noob and I miss it. I moved because, you know, Firgrove got updated and then Silverglade got updated and then we got Dundle. Or no, first we got Dundle, then we got Silverglade, and then we got Mistfall. Just got dark with this. Well, we got Starshine, and then we got Mistfall. I lived, so, okay, when I was a noob, I lived in Fort Pinto for a while, and then when I was better at, at stuff, I started to, um, I started living here in Hollow Woods, and it was my favorite place to live, and then they updated Firgrove, and I moved there because, you know, Firgrove has... Fergrove is just really pretty, you know? <coughs> so I, I lived in Fergrove for a while with all the old people. Because isn't Fergrove known as, like, the old people town? Apparently. <laughs> um, if you pay attention to the story quests, they talk a little bit about how Fergrove is just full of old people. <laughs> Which I think is f kind of funny. And Rhiannon's gran grandma lives there. So that's another interesting fact about the lore that I know about. I really like the lore, but sometimes I do forget things, so bear with me. I forget a lot about Epona because Epona is like a different world to me. I don't go there very often. And when I did do the quests there, it was like, Ugh, get me out of here. And I did it as fast as I could because I just wanted to escape. Yeah. Um... <coughs> but anyways, yes, we are having a great time. We're having a great time right now, and I shouldn't need to tell you that. You should just feel it in your heart. 
what a good time we're having complaining about Star Stable together. You see, this is why you should subscribe. This is why you should stick around and watch my videos because we just have a good time together, you and me, and I just feel like we're going to be really good friends, you know? It's hard to meet good friends on YouTube because everybody's always screaming in the comments about oh my god i love your videos i'm such a big fan please subscribe to my channel you know just annoying stuff i feel like we should be friends and we should like just ignore the outside world together and just talk about talk about the lore together and all that wonderful stuff you know what was i talking about before i kind of forgot what i was talking about. If, I feel like it was important, but I can't remember for the life of me. Um, oh yeah, let's talk about three updates that I want the most in Star Stable because I feel like we need certain things in this game that we just don't have. So I'm going to talk about it. I want updated characters first and foremost, and I know that Star Stable is aware of this and they they said that they are still trying to figure out how, how they're going to go about doing it and everything. But I really want updated characters. I want lots and lots of options for updated characters like when it comes to hair, uh, skin details, skin colors, eye colors, you know, I just want, I just want a lot of options. I'm sick of same face sy syndrome where everybody looks exactly the same is like a skinny white girl in this game. Look at, like you can literally tell no difference in this girl's face shape and hair from me. Like she has brown hair and she's got slightly darker skin. That's all you could really notice. And like, yeah, we just have the same exact body type and everything and it's just cringe. So yeah, I'm hoping for really nice updated characters where we can have different body types and you know we can actually look different in the face and everything that would be super nice and maybe some of us are tall maybe some of us are short i would really like a height slider because you know i don't care if i look wacky interacting with something in the game i just want to be my height like i'm an average height in real life but there's also a lot of people who are short or tall and they don't really feel represented in this game you know um i would also like the character models to be smaller i feel like they're too big you know i feel like i just feel like they're a little too big sometimes yeah like i mean big as in they have really big heads i feel like their heads could be smaller and perhaps the body could be a little bit less anorexic. I mean, if you if you are skinny in real life and you like the way that you're th that the character looks, that's fine. But I want I really want like a thick body type because I am not this skinny in real life. That's for sure. If I tried to put on those skinny jeans, they would only fit through my arm, and that's it. They would not fit through any any of my legs. <laughs> okay. Oh, my horse is Max. I can run away from this. Yay. Yay, we maxed the horse. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to buy the horse from the app, which I'm not going to record. You're just going to have to sit there and let me restart my game. Because <laughs> that's the only way I can do it. So yeah, we're going to just restart the game. 975 star coins. Ugh, why is the horse so expensive? We're gonna go to my stables and we're gonna go get Shafiro and make him an outfit and just dazzle up the place. Oh, there he is. Shadow Flame. Um, I don't really know where to put him. To be honest. I think, I think I'll put him where Fortuna is right now because... She doesn't need to be there, you know? Okay. What a handsome devil. Wow. 
I think I might end up keeping his mane this way because he's the only horse that can have this mane style. So it's kind of like, it would be kind of a waste. All right, let's make him an orange outfit because I got to wear orange today, beach. This orange is literally perfect, what the heck? We're gonna have to go with it. I could cosplay as Sky, but do I want to cosplay as Sky? The answer is no. <laughs> Very simply, just no. I don't like Sky as a character that much, to be honest with you. And the reason I don't really like her is because I feel like she's just a Lisa recolor. Like, she looks exactly like Lisa. She acts exactly like Lisa. You know, she's very, like, passionate and, you know, she's, the, she's that main character trope of, like, oh, I have a tragic backstory, please love me, you know? I just don't care about characters like that. I get bored with them very easily. So I get bored with her very easily, unfortunately. I would probably like her more if she had a little bit more depth to her character. But I feel like they really couldn't squeeze in a whole lot of depth, mainly due to the fact that the show was kind of, you know, short. There was only five minute episodes. Why they went with five minute episodes, I, I honestly have no idea. I don't think I would ever, ever understand why they would choose to do it that way. I like these brown pants. I think I'm gonna wear these instead because I think they match the saddle a little bit better. The saddle pad. Or should I maybe go with like... No, not those. No, I like the lighter brown. Oh wait, that actually looks really matchy with that. Maybe I'll go with those pants instead. Cause doesn't this like tan brown kind of match like that cinnamon that cinnamon brown matches really well yeah we'll go with that this looks pretty nice we're so zoomed out for some reason look at how cute this horse is oh my gosh okay, is it just me or does my outfit look kind of dark it does look kind of dark is there anything brighter i could wear I have this. Now let me just see something. I have an outfit that this goes with. And I could wear it. Oh, it's too dark. It just looks too dark to me. I don't know. This horse is a weird color, okay? We don't really have a lot of outfits that would really match. Check out to see if they this is way the, too uh, bright of orange. Build mm. I, I hear that they're really fun, but... Yeah, I think we're just gonna stick with what we're already wearing. Because I can't... I don't know, I just... I mean, that could work. What does this go with? No, I, I just don't... I just don't think that's gonna work out. Okay, so we ended up going with this outfit because I just think it's the best matching outfit. Which, I was hoping I could find something better, but I'm really struggling to find anything better than this. So, you know. We've got what we've got. Queens. I'm just trying to adjust my camera. Okay. Oh wait, this is not... Okay. Okay. So, let's go look at the main styles because I've been really eager to... I've been really wanting to look at the main styles for this horse. So let's go do that. Oh my gosh, this horse is really pretty. I I really like the fiery orange mane. I wasn't sure if I liked it at first, but I, now that I actually see it on this horse, I think it looks really cool. I like that there's a little gentle fade. I, f I feel like when manes don't have a gentle fade and they just kind of are bright orange sticking out of blue coat it like looks so awkward but this horse has a good fade in the mane so it, i i like it a lot more for that reason so thank goodness that star sable used brain cells to put a fade in the mane okay 
So now we're going to look at everything. We're going to look at this natural mane. This looks really nice. I like this natural mane. Is there a beard? It says there's a beard, but I don't see a beard. On the portrait, I see a beard, but I don't see a beard on the horse. It's a lie. What about this? This one has a beard. The chest hair looks kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. That chest hair looks really cute. <laughs> I like chest hair. Especially since this horse is a boy, it like, it kind of looks charming. And then here's the wolf one. I call this the wolf one because it just looks like a wolf pelt. It looks kind of strange. I don't know if I like it that much. I mean, I think it's good, but I don't know. You see, I'm still wondering if I should just stick with the natural mane. I might stick with the natural for now because I don't know. It just looks the best in my opinion on this horse. So yeah, I think we'll stick with this. This horse is so for stinking cute. Oh, and I just noticed that this is the shape of a fire. This horse is so cute, what the heck? Oh my god, he's adorable. I really like him. I didn't think I was gonna like him, but I really like him. You know what horse he reminds me of? He reminds me of that evil horse from Zelda. I forgot his name, because I don't play Zelda. But I think you know what I'm talking about. We can probably go to the Starshine Ranch race and do the one that we missed. That we weren't able to do. Uh, I can't believe it wouldn't let me do it. Uh, so depressed. I've got anxiety when you're not. Oh, I didn't even do any of these races. Oh, so we're probably going to get a bugged one anyways. Did Michael ever start playing SO? Other you give me, you played. give me, you give me anxiety when you're not here Did with Michael me. You give me anxiety. He did? Alright. But yeah, you guys, I'm super happy that I got to do this video with you. Thank you for all of the people who were leaving <laughs> such sweet comments on my last video. I know that it was a very um, so what do you think emotional of video uh, and it, I was really kind of a mess the whole time. But I just, I'm really grateful for all of the support that has been shown to me. I wasn't really expecting that. So, <laughs> um, I love you guys and thank you to those of you who believe in me and, and think that I'm improving and, and you can see my improvement in my actions and I hope that I can continue to show you that I'm working on on working on myself and wanting to be a better person so yeah I can't really think of anything else to talk about for this video but I do plan on making um, a review of the Gotland Pony coming on Wednesday. Uh, well, the next Wednesday after this one. And I do also plan on making a Frisian video. I want to talk about the Frisians because I never really got the chance to complain about them properly. So I'm going to make a video properly complaining about them whenever I feel like it. I don't know when. But yes, I definitely want to complain about them because... I have a lot to complain about when what it comes to the Frisians, so sure. yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!